on the floor with their mothers, on their mother's back, some on their father's hands. Horrendous. Their parents dead. All right. Well, let's begin what's trending by taking reactions to the tragic incident that occurred in Plato State. It was Black Christmas for many, as no fewer than 100 persons were killed by terrorists in fresh attacks on several communities in Bokos and back in local government areas of the state. The tragic incident unfolded on Saturday, extending into Christmas Eve. Casting a shadow over the festive season, the terrorists burnt down houses in no fewer than 20 different communities, sparing no one including babies, as the casualty count continues to rise with security forces, local vigilantes and hunters recovering more bodies. The Plato State Governor Khaled Mutwang expressed dismay, describing the attack as unprovoked. He further appealed to those perpetrating the attacks to stop as they have nothing to gain. It is so Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard from Arise News. The the Nigerian Islamic jihadists, they've challenged your pastors. They've been doing this since 2009, and you will hear the comments as well. Killing people in Plateau, in just Plateau. So, all your noisemakers pastors, they claim they have powers. Emir calls me dad. I'm too powerful to be a Nigerian president. Ah, bring the dead, bring the blinds, I will raise them, I will raise the dead. The blinds see NHL making noise here and there. They are the most hated pastors on nets. And they challenge them, they cannot come out. I want you to stay tuned and hear this to the, to the end. Stay tuned. It's 2009. I was having a conversation. Um, this is from Pastor Okezie. When will there be lasting peace in Plato State, Nigeria. Image one. During President Olusha Obasanjo's tenure, more than 200 innocent souls were massacred in a single night. Image two. During late President Yaradua's tenure, more than 150 innocent souls were killed. Image three. During President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan's tenure, same senseless and barbaric killings in the same state. Image four. Former President Muhammad Buhari's tenure wasn't spared in the wanton and senseless massacre. It went further to write, Dear President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the recent wanton killing of innocent souls shouldn't be swept under the carpet like in other presidents' tenure. Dear Nigerian Army, DSS, police, Nigerian Air Force, your men should be up and doing to forestall a reoccurrence. This is from a uh, a concerned and patriotic Nigerian. The limit. You just heard that from the day of uh, Buhari, no, not Buhari, Obasanjo, and they've been running to all your pastors, giving them a lot of money, thinking they have powers. Jonathan, you all know that Jonathan is their puppet, running to them, looking up to them because they claim that they have powers. The same thing with all the governors and all that. Why can't they bring all the anointing together if they were truly anointed? Truly anointed and conquer this jihadist, uh, Islamic jihadist. Silence them. They challenge them every Christmas. They will cowardly go into their sheds. They cannot talk. All of you that say, and, 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 Adeboye is a king, a king of kings. Is this, you better stop your nonsense. Sitting on king's, earthly king's uh, throne does not make him a powerful person. No. <laughs> if he's powerful, let him go to plateau, just plateau, to go, to, to go and fight them there. And uh, in ignorance king, Sean Wong for Gomosho, kneeling down, before him does not make him powerful oh. all of the ignorance that come to my uh, my comment section to spit nonsense god is not in them see how they are being defeated here and there they have nothing to offer they are just still here and there the same thing with uh, governor autumn he'll be running after nhs only after nhs they nearly killed him when he was a governor governor benway 
See the killing in Benue, where NHL comes from. Even his church there came under attack. Pastor dead. Bye. Members in hospital. Building collapse. I'm just letting you know that running after all this man, you're wasting your time. Government has wasted a lot of money because um, Obasanjo thought they had power. That's why he gave them a custom waiver. They started using it for themselves. They amassed a lot of wealth through that because they did a lot of importation without paying any tax. The same thing with Jonathan. Get them a lot of money, Nigerian money, to your pastors. You heard this from Kumuyi in the, in the video I posted today. He confessed it. All the governors, the presidents giving them money. And they did nothing to Nigeria economy, to Nigeria security, to even Nigerians, their own members. They're making everybody. You have to know God for yourself. Oh. This problem that is confronting us, since the day Buhari hired all the jihadists from Somali, from, uh, from all the, all the Fulani country, to assist them to change that Jonathan. Jonathan ran to all your pastors, so oh. he knelt down everywhere. Oh, I feel sorry for Jonathan. Oh, I feel sorry for Jonathan. Oh, they lay hands, lay hands, lay hands. He knelt down everywhere. None of them can help. What is that telling you? All of you that is still, that is still following them. So you think our God is that powerless? Why can't you use your brain? God is not in them. It's not that our God is, the, is that powerless. God is the almighty God. They will be quick to talk about Elijah, Elisha, eh, Moses, eh, Joshua. During those people's times, I've never seen that precedent that will cross line with them. Only one word. They will speak one word. That government will sink. Those are the ones that has power. That God is sweet. And there were obedience to God Almighty to the core. And we, we are supposed to even get her than uh, Elijah and Elisha. Because we are born again Christian. We are blood washed. But your, your, your pastors are not all. Oh, they are satanic agents. They've sold their birthright. God does not know them. See the suffering. On top of our suffering, they are collecting our money. I love you that we can't. You are cursing your head, cursing your generation. You are not cursing me because I'm saying the truth. Now that Kumuyi has come out to confess, because he knows that he's nearing his grave. He's nearing his grave. But what about the lives they have destroyed with their lies, with their deception, with their stealing? God is not in them. That's my message. You have to know God for yourself. Salvation is personal. You have to know God for yourself in order to be to, to, to escape the wrath of Satan. Satan is the God of this world and he and is the one that appointed all your pastors. Either you like it or not. Or you are killing me. They are all liars, they are all thieves, they are all rogues. And you will see their hand very soon. I saw this painful thing that happened in Plateau. You just heard it. Mothers carrying their baby in their back and they buy them. Fathers holding their kids in their hands and they buy them. And some people are still making noise here and there that they have power. Are you ignorant? Still following them? Still believing in them? I feel sorry for you. You better start having a relationship with the Almighty Father and let, let all join forces together and fight this enemy that is confronting our, 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 our people, our country, our nation. Looking onto any of these pastors is a waste of time because they have lost it. i see you on my next video. Bye for now.